This is a synthetic diamond. It was produced with the traditional high pressure, high temperature method at 5 to 6 gigapascal at 1300 to 1600 degrees Celsius. These are the same conditions as in the formation of natural diamonds inside the Earth's mantle. Diamond is the hardest material and has the highest thermal conductivity. The new synthesis is the supersaturation of carbon at ambient pressure and a temperature of 1025 degrees Celsius. The diamonds grow below the surface of our liquid alloy consisting of 78% gallium, 11% iron, 11% nickel and 0.25% lichen. Methane is used for catalytic activation and as carbon source. Carbon atoms diffuse into the subsurface region. Silicon is important for the growth because it is part of the nucleation of the diamonds, promotes the formation of the sp3 hybridized carbon clusters and stabilizes them. Heat particles are not required. The central region of the liquid metal has a lower temperature than the corners of the chamber. This temperature gradient drives the carbon diffusion towards the center region, facilitating diamond growth. The initial nuclei have a predicted size of 20 to 50 carbon atoms. High quality diamonds can be produced by using cobalt instead of nickel with a gallium indium mixture instead of gallium. Other interesting candidates for alloys are bismuth, lead, tin, antimony, and tellurium. A cold wall vacuum system for rapid heating and cooling was developed. The system was heated with water cooled electrodes at a rate of 7.7 .7 degrees Celsius to 13.9 degrees Fahrenheit per second. The diamond crystals began to form within 15 minutes. 150 minutes of exposure produced a continuous diamond film. A bigger chamber with a volume of 100, 100 liters was built, but it was not as easy to control as a smaller one. The home built vacuum system was the result of a series of experiments with several concepts and several hundred parameter adjustments. The tetraeron structure gives diamond its hardness. The sp3 hybridized carbon atoms have a bond angle of 109.5 degrees. Surface there are sp2 hybridized carbon atoms, hydrogen atoms and functional groups. Diamonds are used in jewelry because of their hardness and high dispersion of light which gives, gives them their fire. The weight of diamonds is measured in carat. One carat is 0.2 gram. This is a diamond knife blade. Diamonds are used in the industry for cutting, polishing and engraving. Carbon is sol soluble in some alloys, for example steel, may cause degradation of the property. In these cases, the isoelectronic boronitride is a better alternative, has almost the same hardness as diamond and a better resistance to heat and vacuum. Diamonds have a potential for audio devices because they are very stiff, they can vibrate quickly without deformation. Record player needles are made of diamond. Diamonds can conduct heat very well and have a high heat resistance. They can be used as heat sinks in electronics, cool down, hot components. These are nano diamonds from laser ablation. They are interesting for medical applications, for polishes, as catalysts, and for skincare products. Boron dot diamonds are superconductors. They have a critical temperature of 4 Kelvin. The BCS theory of Bardeen, Cooper, and Schrieffer describes superconductivity is the formation of Cooper pairs of electrons. However, the phenomenon is not fully understood. The famous Hope Diamond is a 9.1 grams blue diamond. It was found in the 17th century in Guntur in India. Color comes from trace amounts of boron. Thank you for watching.